morning. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. The sun's up and uh, I'm a couple minutes late here, but it, it's nice to be with you and uh, to be out here. Maybe it'll be another nice day and a little sunnier today. We'll see. Um, let's start out with a prayer for today and then I want to talk a little bit about curiosity. But um, we'll start out with a prayer and then hop right into it. Let us pray. God, thank you for the beauty of today, of this morning, of um, whatever this day has to hold. We give you thanks for each day. We are blessed uh, to wake up and to, to live in this world that you have created um, and to live with these other people that you have created. Help us to be filled with your spirit this day and every day to go out into the world and to do your work, to spread love and to, to care for one another and care for this place. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Uh, today I want to talk about curiosity just for a minute or two. Um, one of our cats, uh, every time we open the door to go outside into the yard or to go out front to get in the car, um, sometimes the garage door, anytime we open a door, even sometimes doors inside the house, it's not always outside, uh, this cat will lunge towards the door and um, you kind of have to to be on guard even if you don't see the cat. Uh, last night I was letting Lola out to go uh, use the bathroom in the middle of the night and um, the uh, the cat was nowhere to be seen but right when I opened the door it's like I, he should have been sleeping <laughs> um, and he lunged from under the bed out towards the door and before Lola could even go outside he was he was on his way out <laughs> Uh, this cat is so curious um, to see what's out there, to see uh, what's outside, to see what's in the closet that we usually keep shut, to see uh, what there is somewhere where he's not. <laughs> um, and so this curiosity is frustrating because I don't want the cat to run outside. You know, every now and then he gets outside and I think he regrets his curiosity because he gets out there and he sort of just tiptoes around. He never runs away, um, but he'll sit on the porch for a second and start sniffing everything real slowly. Um, he's he's nervous, but the curiosity, he just can't help himself to, to try to run towards a, a new door that's open. Um, and I, I, like I said, sometimes he gets a little nervous about it once he's actually outside or once he's in a new place. But um, But I applaud him for his curiosity, even though it is frustrating. Because if we live our lives with a little bit of curiosity, um, we're always willing to, to learn something. We're always willing to try something new. We're always willing to um, sort of take what the day has for us um, with, with a little expectation. I think curiosity is good. And so I wanted to think about that in different ways this morning. What, what does curiosity look like in faith? I, I think, you know, we... We have a lot of questions. Sometimes we talk about questions as, as doubt, <laughs> but I think curiosity is a better way to think about questions in faith. Um, uh, it helps us to uh, appreciate the mystery of God a little bit more, and um, it helps us to maybe understand or to try to understand what we're doing here. Why? What is our purpose in life? What? Why are we? Have we been created? <laughs> you know, having some curiosity in our faith, I think, is is definitely healthy and it helps us to grow each and every day. Um, what is it like to have curiosity in our relationships, you know, to be curious about one another instead of just um, living next to each other? How do we live with one another and try to like, get to know each other? Uh, when you meet somebody for the first time, hopefully you've got a lot of curiosity about them. What do you do um, in your daily life? What, who do you call family? Um, what is your background? How did you get here? Uh, that kind of thing. You get a lot of curiosity when you meet someone new for the first time. And hopefully, again, that curiosity continues throughout the days that we have relationships with one another. Uh, it doesn't just start at the beginning and then we, we think that we know each other and, and stop there. But we're always constantly curious uh, about one another. And I think that's how, um, how we have true, meaningful relationships in our lives. And then just curiosity out and about in the world, too. I think Curiosity is what keeps you going if you um, have a garden in your backyard, you know, it's it's what tr helps you try to plant a new vegetable the next year. Um, curiosity is what uh, 
helps us to to spruce up our homes a little bit to make um, renovations here and there to paint the walls a new color I think that's a, a nice way to um, to think about things so uh, as much as it frustrates me to have to be on guard when I open any doors in our house so I don't let the cat out or lock the cat in a closet or in the garage <laughs> Um, I appreciate the idea that being curious is a good way to live our lives. Uh, so let's think about that a little bit today. If you have any ideas that you want to share about curiosity or any questions or um, any experience with that, uh, that's, that's what I'm thinking about today. So let's end with a prayer and then we'll go about our days and hope that um, we can be curious enough to experience this new day in different and joyous ways. But let us pray. God, we give you thanks for the gift of curiosity uh, and all that it does to guide us each and every day, that it helps us in our relationship with you, with one another, with your creation, um, and that it makes life interesting and purposeful and full of excitement and joy. Uh, and then it gives us um, the energy we need to, to move about our days. Uh, to live faithfully for you and for one another. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks, y'all, and uh, have a wonderful day, and I will um, see you again on Friday here, and Pastor John will be with you the rest of the week, and then we'll uh, be in church on Sunday. But hope to see some of y'all. God bless.